Hello students. In the uh, previous videos, we've learned how to solve a variety of different types of quadratic equations. So in this final video, what we might do is just look at a couple of examples. Now the first one, let's just read the question first. When three times a number is added to the square of that number, the result is seven times the number. Use an equation to find the number given that it is greater than zero. So this is what I call a mathematical application. It's not a real life application. It's just, you're still just working with numbers. So all we really have to do differently here is uh, take the words and turn them into an algebraic equation. Okay, well, I'm gonna let the letter X be the unknown number since that's what we've been using. So when three times X is added to the square of x. Well, to me, that means I write x squared plus 3 times x, or 3x. The result, which means equals, is 7 times the number. Okay, so there's the equation. x squared plus 3x equals 7x, and we need to go ahead and solve that. Okay, well, as usual, if we're going to use the null factor law, which is pretty much all we have at this stage for solving equations, we need to get a zero on the right-hand side of the equal sign. So we take away 7x, subtract 7x from each side. And on the right-hand side, that goes to zero. On the left-hand side, 3 subtract 7 is minus 4, so it's x squared take 4x equals 0. Okay, so now we have the um, equation with 0 on the right-hand side. Now, I need to get this in factorized form so I can use the null factor law. So I've got to take out a common factor, and the common factor is x. So a times b equals 0 implies either a equals zero or b equals zero. So each of those factors can be set equal to zero. Well, there's one solution, and the second solution is going to be, in fact, I'll just copy that one down. And the second solution is going to be um, x equals four. So x equals zero or x equals 4. Now, we've got to also look at the question, the words, given that it is greater than 0. So that means we have to cancel that uh, possible solution. And the one we're left with is, is x equals 4. OK, let's just now go back to the actual word problem, not the equation, but the word problem to check, in fact, that we have found the correct solution. Because it, it might be that I've written this down incorrectly. So 3 times a number, so 3 times 4 is 12, added to the square of the number. Well, 4 squared is 16. So that gives me a total of 28. And the result is 7 times the number. Well, 4 times 7 is also 28. So it does check. And there's the answer, x equals 4. OK. Last problem. Okay, let's uh, read through the question first. In fact, you might want to try this one on your own um, before we go through it. So you can stop the video if you wish. A square vegetable garden has one side extended by four meters and the other side reduced by four meters. So there's the original vegetable garden. The area is now 65 square meters what was the side length of the original square? In part A, draw one or more diagrams for this problem. So we're trying to find the side length of the original square. Let's call that x. Because it's a square, both sides are x. And what we've done is we've modified it. So this side has been reduced by 4 meters. This side has been extended by 4 meters. So we've now got a length of x plus 4 and a width of x minus 4. 
and we're being told that the new area is 65 square meters. Okay, well, area of a rectangle is length times width. So x plus 4, x take 4, and that must give us 65. Okay, so there's our equation that we need to solve. And because we don't have a zero over there, I can't use the um, difference, of, difference of two squares quite yet. That only works if that's zero. So the first thing I have to do is expand that. So that's of the form a plus b, a minus b. And we know from a previous video, if that's just a squared, take b squared. So expanded the left-hand side. We need to get a zero on the right-hand side. So we take away 65 from each side. That goes to zero. And here we end up with x squared take. And if we're subtracting 16 and subtracting 65, that's subtracting 81. So x squared take 81 equals 0. Ah, oh, I can recognize this pattern. That's a square. That's a square. So I have a difference of two squares. So I know that that is now a plus b times a take b equals 0, since 9 squared is 81. And that means we can say x plus 9 equals 0, or x take 9 equals 0. That's the null factor law. And therefore, x equals negative 9, or x equals positive 9. So at the moment, I've ended up with two solutions to this equation. But of course, this is uh, this represents a real life situation. It's not possible to have the length of a garden equaling a negative number. So because this is a real life situation, I can actually cross that out. So the solution that I have is x equals 9, or x equals 9 meters. Oop, let me just change my pen tool. So I think the answer is x equals 9 meters. Now, once again, we can check this, but we go back to the original word problem, not to the equation, in case I've written down the wrong equation. So originally, my garden was 9 by 9. So my new garden is going to be 9 minus 4 is 5 meters. And 9 plus 4 is 13 meters. And as we're doing the check, my pen's playing up. So let me just go ahead and erase that. As we do the check, we've now got an area of 13 by 5, which equals 65. And that checks against the question. So therefore, that is the right answer. OK, well, that's the end of the videos on uh, salt, well, just on quadratic relationships in general and on solving quadratic equations for this last set of videos. Now, there's more to be done on solving quadratic equations and graphing quadratic equations, but all of that's going to be done in year 10 mathematics. So we're pretty much finished with this for now. OK, goodbye and uh, get out that textbook and start working through the exercises in the textbook.